Hello, everybody. In this uh, tutorial or uh, this session, we will speak about revision about Python. So we have, first of all, we will uh, remember you with the importance of uh, learning Python. So uh, it's easy to learn and use. Uh, by the way, I will share these resources uh, through uh, and send you these links. Mutual and the supportive Python community. Uh, there is a big uh, community for Python since it was uh, uh, in the market and uh, of the programming uh, for 30 years ago. Moreover, support from uh, renowned uh, corporate uh, sponsors uh, like uh, BHB and Facebook, uh, Oracle, Sun, Visual Basic, C Sharp, hundreds of Bison libraries and frameworks. There is a, a ton or a, 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 a large libraries of free code and open source of Python. And there are many frameworks and libraries are available for Bison language, such as uh, Matt uh, Plot Library for plotting charts and the graphics. Science uh, by or Science Python, which is the SI SI uh, by for engineering applications, science and mathematics, and beautiful soup for HTML parsing and XML. Unum by for scientific computing. Where uh, uh, moreover uh, there is a number five uh, versatility, efficiency, reliability, and speed. And number six, big data, machine learning, and the cloud computing. And as we know, that big data is related to data science and machine learning to artificial intelligence. And now we have uh, 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 the economy uh, uh, depend on the uh, of, of, uh, artificial intelligence is about uh, uh, in 2020 was about 1.5 uh, billion dollars. And it will increase to be in 2024 to be seven billion dollars around the world. The based uh, or the volume of the economy will be based on artificial intelligence, which is the program by the device. And then number seven, it's the first choice language. Number eight, the flexibility of Python language. And number nine, use of Python in academics. As we see before, it used in artificial intelligence, deep learning, data science, etc. It's a very important language for these topics. And number 10, automation. Python language can help a lot in automation. It's related to robotics and the, 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 the developing robotics and programming of robotics. And as example, we can uh, write programs for uh, download for uh, and uploading for the Arduino uh, electronic board, and then this Arduino we can configure it and uh, connect it with input and outputs, and so on. So uh, Bison is very very important. Uh, uh, moreover, we have also another uh, thing or Python revision. These are uh, very important links. I will share it with you. Uh, and this, uh, here there is an introduction of Python. And some uh, examples, very simple. How to print uh, hello and uh, do uh, simple mathematics. And the variables of the, uh, the types in Bison, the number, string, Boolean, list, tuple, set, dictionary. All this uh, I remember with you, we studied in the last semester. And uh, this also the types, the types continues. This one file, another file will be shown here. Quick revision tour. This link is, will be shared to you also.
one of the biggest resources is www.python.org. Also the features of Python, it's uh, portability, extendability, uh, data, you can deal with databases, uh, it's, uh, you can deal with GUI, graphic uh, interface, and very easy to learn, as we said. Uh, popular applications or software which made by Bison, Dropbox, Google, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Yahoo Maps, etc. If you have any questions, please uh, write it below. This uh, recorded video will be uploaded. And uh, if he, there is any question, write, and I will answer you as soon as possible. This is uh, www3, uh, www.bison.org. It's a very important resource for learning Python. And it has a lot and tons of free or open source code of Python. You can search on it here and you find the suitable code you need. Also, we have a great resource, which is w3schools.com. And as you see here, the Python and production in Python and get started, Python syntax, Python comments, variables, their types, numbers, and the strings, booleans, operators, uh, which is uh, the arithmetic operators and logical operators, and so on. We can see Bison operators here. This is uh, addition operator, the plus. You can use this by this way. Also, we have a, this is the arithmetic operators, the plus, minus, uh, times, uh, division, and this is a module which is uh, give you the reminder, and this is the exponential, and this is the floor division. He will neglect the reminder and give you uh, the flat. And this is assessment assignment operator equal. Uh, this is, uh, if you have this, it's replaced this by equation. X plus equals three. It means X equals X plus three. And X minus equals three, it equals X, X minus three and so on. Uh, this is the end, this is the logic, and this is the or. Okay, it's all it's working also with the uh, logic uh, operators and uh, this shift, shift by three, and this shift is uh, shift uh, right by three, and this shift left by three. Uh, or uh, you can try this. Try it. We can try it here from here. So x equals five. We will do shifting it now and the parenthesis. So what will happen? What equals will equal? It will equal zero. Because as you see, uh, five equals one, zero, one. When you shift right by three, so it will be, will be zero, zero, zero. So it will equal zero. We can also uh, close this and try this one, try this. Here, uh, it will be shift to uh, lift. So it be, uh, five equals one, zero, one. So it will be one, zero, one, zero, zero. One, zero, one, then next to them three zeros. I.e. if we can write here. Here. Here,
this file binary one zero one when we shift it to uh, left it will equal one zero one zero 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 okay so the first zero times uh, two exponential to zero and this two exponential to one and this two exponential to two and this two exponential to three so two exponential to three is equals eight plus two exponential to four 16 but the zero two exponential to six uh, uh, uh five which equals 32 so it will equal 40 okay uh let's go back close this one then we will uh, continue to Python operators. Python comparison operator. This is the version. This is the equal uh, operators. Uh, so if x equal y, it will give true. This is not. Or if x not equal y, it will give true. If it is equal, it will give false. If it's greater than y, it will give true. If less than y, give true. If it's not less than y, like equal or more than y, it will force. We can try it. We can try this one, or we can try the equal more than one. So here, x equal five, and y equal three. Yes, he, this is a condition is true. Equal, more, uh, uh, so true. If we put it, two or three or uh, two so now x is less than y so the result will be false the result there will be false okay so we also go to see another example so this is the conversion operators here are the logic operators the logic operators who and which a uh, which combine two or more than one uh, expression or operation. So we have two expressions here, x less than y and x less than 10, okay? We have x less than y and x less than 10. So uh, now we combine these two expressions by n. So if x less than five is true and x less than y is true, so the result will be true. So and as a trustable loop, and it's only give true if the two conditions or two expressions which uh, join between them are true. If one of them is false, so the total result will be a will be false. Let's try. So x here is five. So five greater than three, and five and x or x greater than three, and uh, because it's five, and at the same time it's less than ten. So it's true. Let's change this, and let it to be more than ten or equal ten. So here it's greater than three, but it's not less than ten. So the result will be false. This is the end, you know? Okay, if this will be two, two is less than 10, but it's not greater than three. So it also will be a false. Okay. Let's go and check the or, the or, it gives true in three cases. If one condition is true, or as we see, combine two expressions. If one of expression is true, it will give true. If the only case for false, when the two conditions are false. Let's try. So, if x greater than three, or x less than four and x here five. Yes, it's greater four, uh, than three, but it's not less than four, so it's true. Let's put it 
two. Two is not greater than three, but it will give two also because it's less than four. Okay. So how to let X Uh, false. This is the question here. If x equals 3, it's less than 4. If x equals 4, it also greater than 3. So, when x will be false, it's difficult. You have to change here, like to put it here greater, and put x equals two, it will be false. Okay, we change the expression. As we see, uh, here we have the bison list and we have the syntax of writing a list in this way we uh, the items will be included in the brackets okay and this is an example when uh, print this list it will print all the items inside it we can do operations of listed okay Uh, one of the features of list it allowed application. Okay. Uh, well, there is the functions for lists. You need to find the length of this list. This length, uh, this list has three items, so its length will be. Oh, you can find it. It will be three. Three items. Okay. Another example, this, we have three lists here, list one, list two, list three. And uh, there are uh, different values. And in same time, we can, the list one can contain different values in the same list. It may contain the same type or may different types. As we see here, string and number and the logic value. And we here have the type of list because he, this list is a unique values and the same type. So we have a type, so we can use the function of this list. The good thing in this uh, W3 schools is you, you can write a code, you can test it uh, online without uh, needing to use Anaconda or uh, a spider, okay? And we have uh, the types of arrays, we have lists, we discussed this lists now, we have tuple and we have set, we have dictionary. So uh, a list is a collection which is ordered and changeable allows duplicate members. Tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. Allows also duplicate members. The, you can make addition in the list, but you can do it in tuple. You, so tuple, it's like, uh, like uh, read only, okay? It's ordered, so there is a, a, a ordering, a use index. So the, the first item, which is index of zero, the second is index number one, and the last one, n of minus one, which n is the number of the list or the length of the list or the number of, two, uh, of uh, all elements in the list. Set is a collection which uh, is unordered. It's unordered and unindexed with no indexing, with no duplication. Okay? Dictionary is a collection which is ordered. Give it first order as index and changeable and no duplication 
And there is an, an important thing in the dictionary. Every item consists of two items. The first item is a key and the second is a value. We will check now and see here. We can uh, go to uh, all these, speak about lists, as you see. List comprehension, sort lists, copy lists, join lists. If you open tuple, we can access tuple, update tuple, unpack tuple, loop tuples, join tuples. Uh, and we have sets, access set items, add set items, remove set items, loop sets, join sets, set methods, and set exercise. We, we can get a, 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 a look for everyone. We got a look uh, of uh, the lists. We can get a look or a vision for the tuples. Uh, update tuples. Tuples. This is an expression of a tuple. X is a tuple, its name is X. And note that here, the syntax, we have a parenthesis. In this is we have a brackets, okay? So Y equals the list of X. X, then let Y1 equals KIW. Oh, so now two, uh, make update to tuple directly, you can do it. So you have to convert it to list and make the updating or the changing or the editing in the list and then copy this list to the, the tuple, okay? So this is uh, the, the, the way for updating or changing any item in the list. So here we change it the item number two, which is index one, banana, and let it kiwi. And then put it in the Y, okay? So then we call, we put all this, which changes to Y as a list in the X tuple, as a tuple, okay? So here, if you check it, we will see Apple, Kiwi, Chile. So change it. Apple, Kiwi, Chile. Okay. Let's go back and see a uh, loop of tuples, you can do some looping. So we have the tuple, it's uh, this tuple, and for X in this tuple, print X. So it will first take the index of zero, print apple, and then banana, and chili. Let's check everyone in one line. What else? We can join tuple. We can uh, tuple exercises, many. Then we have Python tests. Uh, we have access items, add uh, set items, remove set item, loop. We, we join sets. Let's speak about join sets. So sets, it's famous with its uh, curly bracket. And the same include items, but as you know, these items are not are not indexed, as we said before. So set of two equals another uh, values, and set of three equals set of one union set of two. Set of one union, yani here we will you will join the two sets together. So you will have A, B, C, set one, union set two. One, two, three. Let's check. Yes. Uh, two, three, B, A, C, one. What's happened here? Run again. So as there is no, no ordering because there is no index. It's just the elements are joined. But if every time you run, it's randomly ordered. No index here because it don't support index or ordering. Okay? And set 
This is a bracket in which is the curly brackets of uh, the system. Uh, another example, set methods. Oh, we can use this function, add, clear, copy, difference, difference, update, and so on. Poop, remove, symmetric difference, symmetric union, and so on. We can check the Python dictionaries. The Python dictionaries, as we see here, this is dictionary. And uh, we need uh, just to go back and stop sharing. And take a print screen. Share also again. Share. So here uh, we can go and uh, put a uh, post here. And I will uh, give a reflection for my colleagues and my school administration task stuff by copying uh, screenshot for the Zoom and send them to the WhatsApp group, as you see. And then uh, go directly back to our session to complete it. So it's a break, just a break for doing this. But uh, we have another, uh, we share, we share, uh, we are sharing Python, Python W3.
So let's uh, continue our lesson or session. This session will end about uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes, sorry. So uh, here is a dictionary. The dictionary, as we said before, it has a name and assignment, okay? And it's curly like the set, curlies, curly brackets, and item. And the, every item consists of two items. The first is the key, and there is a, the a column, double column, and then a value. So here, the first item, the key is brand, and the value is four. And this is the second item, with which of index one, the first item of index zero. By the way, it's index order, like tuple, like list. It's not like set, because set is not ordered, not support indexing. And this is the last item, which is like uh, item number three of index two. And it's this, this it's a value, okay? This is dictionary. We have this example, print, it will be print. All the keys with its items, the key and the item, okay? So dictionary items, we have this item, uh, uh, unordered or unordered? Of course, it's ordered as of Bison version 3.7. These dictionaries are ordered. In Bison 3.6 and the earlier dictionary. Are, oh, this is the, 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 the information here. Before 3.7 was unordered, was like set. But after 3.7, it's ordered. Changeable. A changeable. Yes, you can uh, change and edit it. But duplicates not allowed. You can duplicate it. Duplicate is allowed in uh, list. You can duplicate. Okay. But in dictionary, you can duplicate. We can use the same key. Here you can do it. Okay. Duplicates value will override existing values. So here, this is the second one, will override the old one. Let's check. We have only three items, okay? So this one overwritten by the, 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 the next one, with this one, okay. Dictionary lens, we use the same function for uh, lens, len, and the name of the dictionary inside it in run CSS. Dictionary data types, different data types. You can uh, include list inside dictionary or dictionary inside dictionary. Nested. Nested. The type, you will show the type. You get the type. The type. Dictionary. Class dictionary. Um, arrays. Dictionaries. We copy dictionaries, nested dictionaries. As you see, nested dictionaries. Dictionary contain dictionaries. Okay. So this key include the dictionary, which is this one. And the next key, child two, uh, so on. Dictionary methods. These are the functions or the methods of dealing with dictionary. Uh, the same function are used with lists and tuple. Python, else, if, this is uh, very important. Python, if, else. Python, if, else. Very, very important thing. So we, uh, when we uh, deal with condition as a flow chart, uh, we have two ways. If the condition is correct, we go in one way. If it's false, we go in the other way, okay? Where in the flowchart, it is uh, 
معين. So we have many examples of if and if statement and if else are very important statements in every programming. In in simple programs, in complex programs, you have to use if condition or if else. When we have nested if and we have for the condition we check, we have simple condition and we have complex condition. And we have complicated, very complicated condition. Okay, it depends on the programming or the program we are writing or the problem we are solving. It depends on uh, the nature of uh, the issue we are dealing with. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, in Python uh, conditions, it's the same like uh, C or Java or uh, Visual Basic, any programming, JavaScript, any programming language use if statement and its uh, components like if else. Now we will go to, to check how we write the syntax of if. So we have here a very simple example, if B greater than A. And then there is colon. And then the statement which will be executed if this condition is correct. So if B greater than A, yes, it's greater than A. So we'll print B is greater than A. Then we have here the identification. Python relays on identification, white space and the beginning of a line. Okay. To define a scope and the code, other programming language often use curly brackets for this purpose. If a statement was out in identification, will raise an error. Okay. Will raise an error. So you will get an error here. Okay. And this sharp study means that this sentence is a comment. And he said, it is that you will get error. But you are knowing what is identification. Identification is to make white space at the beginning of a line. This is identification. So if you compare this very simple program and the second, you have F, B greater than A. And the hand print is here. You have to take space because Python is case sensitive for identity. Okay, because we are not using any curly brackets like in C to show that this line relate to this F. So this will give error. And we will see now how to solve this error. To solve this error, you have to go to and get identification. Before identification, it was unclear. Run. It gives no error and gives the result because we take the identification. Okay. What we have also, we have uh, while loops. After F, we will go to uh, loops. 
LF which is LF. So here there is a nested, another nested uh, F. But here, the expression say F B greater than A, it's correct, parenthesis. F not equal will go else. But because there is, after else, there is no clear statement, but there is checking for another condition. So the word LF. The basic or the fundamental of it was else F in the other language and see else F. But here LF equal A equal B, Brent A and B are equal. Okay. Let's check. So because B is greater than A, B is greater than A. Oh, sorry, not greater because they are equal. So uh, uh, it's false. So you will check after the other uh, statement, which start with LF, else F A equal B, bring. Else, else when it's terminated. But see here, we have double quotation, uh, column or column. Where here we there is a editation space editation. Okay. While loops. Now we. Uh, Go. This is shorthand if the line in the same in the same line, the, the executable uh, or the, the statement which will be executed after uh, the condition is correct will be in the same line. This is called shorthand if. Shorthand if else you can do print a f. Else, same line. This is good and right syntax. Okay, you can use and to uh, combine two conditions, as we said before. Nested F. Okay. The bus statement, bus, continue. And there is a, here exercise, you have to solve it, submit your answer. So here, print a lower F A is greater than B. So here we'll write F. A greater than B, greater than where we will put column. Then submit answer and it will give us show answers. It's correct. Okay. The answer, it's correct. Okay. And we have many exercises. You can do these exercises. We can go to Bison F L S material and down to get. Uh, we speak about bus statement, and we will have exercise. We have next also same in next, and here we can go from here or from here. While loops, we will speak about loops here. The while loop, while loops so for loops. If I, I equals one, while I less than six, print I, and increment I. So we'll print one, two, three, four, five. 
and six not will be printed because it's not less than six. So it will print one, two, three, four, five. Let's check. And this is the very, very best educational website, w3schools.com. Very, very professional learning, online learning, okay? So now we are in the loops, Y loop, and we go ahead. Break statement will break you from the loop. And the loop, stop the loop if you uh, break. But here, the break is conditioned with uh, this condition. So if I equals three, it will break and go out. So here, it will print one, two, three. And after three, it will break, go out. Stop the looping. Let's check. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay. This is loops. Iteration means repetition. So the continuous statement. The continue is reverse of break. Continue main bus. Continue. So this will print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because we start from zero. Oh, there is something. While I less than, oh, because here the increment is the first. He incremented the I, then printed it after. So we started by one also. And we print six here because when it was five, it incremented and entered the loop. And the print is at six because it, it was incremented. Very good. This is a while loop. The else statement, we can use if else statement inside a while and make this is the programming to, to combine the concept. So we have the concept of L, if condition is true, and if else inside the looping, which repetition or iteration. Okay, so here combine two very important concepts. So here, uh, while I less than six, print I, we have an incrementation by one, and then low, uh, if it's I, uh, if it's not. But where here the if condition? Where's the if condition here? The, the condition here, if I not less than six, it will go and let this as I is no longer less than six. After printing till five, he will go out the loop and print this one, okay? Here, but print I, let's uh, solve this. And we have many exercises after that, about 10 exercises. So print I as long I is less than six. Why? I less than six in a quotation, double quotation, a double column or column, print I. Less than six. Answer. It's working good, right? Show answer. Okay. We have more three exercises. You can do it. So here, actually, we are uh, learning Python and learning how to use online W3 website. Very, very good 
uh, session. Uh, please subscribe in the channel if you like it and share this video with others and write any question to answer you. Okay? See you in the next uh, video.